This is a message from the Syrian High Council. This is a message for anyone experiencing intense unwanted emotions. We are messengers of the silver blue ray. We feel and perceive your feelings of overwhelming at times frustration, despair, anger, confusion, uncertainty, lack, loneliness. And if there's one thing we could, we wish we could, if there's one thing we wish we could persuade you of in this moment is that these emotional experiences are only that, experiences. These emotions, these very intense, unwanted emotions that you would call negative are not truly yours in the way you perceive them to be. We would like to caution you against over identifying with your emotions, especially the ones that you wish to experience less of. The intense unwanted emotions that you struggle the most to release These are the ones that we would like to emphasize that they are not truly yours They come from outside of you You pick them up like radio frequencies with your psychic antennas. In this way, these intense unwanted emotions are exactly like a neighbor playing a loud song on a radio station that you dislike and you cannot help but overhear it because you are so sensitive because your hearing is so sensitive, or in this case, because your psychic perception and your empathic abilities are so, so highly sensitive that you pick up these emotions from many different sources all around you. And we emphasize this with great care because As we observe humans working through their emotional processing, we have come to understand that when you cease internalizing these emotions, it is much easier for you to get yourself into a better feeling state when you own the emotions and cling to them and feel that they come from inside of you and that you somehow created them and that you must work and work and work and work to process them. It is rather like attempting to drink and process all of the oceans of the earth. There is an endless stream of these emotions because you are picking them up from everywhere. Some of you pick them up from the energies of the planets and the stars and the ambient energies in your galaxy. Others of you pick them up from the residue in the earth itself from days gone by. Others of you from the people that you spend physical time with. 
others of you from people you have never met but are nonetheless on the planet emoting and emitting these emotions and you receive them. Others of you picking up, picking them up from other star systems, from other periods of time, like you are picking them up and receiving them from connections you had in parallel quantum lives in your past and your future and your current now. We observe that when you come into a place of fully understanding that these negative unwanted emotions are not yours, we see people like you releasing them, releasing them quickly, releasing them with ease and with grace and releasing them to find infinite relief infinite relief many of you struggle with this concept because you do not appreciate just how empathically sensitive you are you are used to believing that any feeling you feel as your own emotion you are used to understanding that that is your emotion and you identify with it and you own it. Part of this process of understanding that the emotions that you feel, to understand that they are not always yours, usually not yours, is to understand your own power, that there is a courageous leap you must take so that you can understand that you are this sensitive and that you are this powerful. The road to relief and release lies in the acknowledgement of your own power. When you fully internalize the fact that these emotions are not yours and that you are picking them up from outside of yourself, that is the moment where everything can shift for you. And you can, in a moment, find yourself in a new emotional landscape. Because you are so sensitive and because you have practiced attuning yourself to these negative, unwanted emotions, you may still find that you can perceive these emotions just as if you were listening to your neighbor's radio. You are still aware of the emotions. You can still perceive them. You can still sense them but you can begin to take your attention off of them and you can cease the endless struggle of attempting to process an amount of emotions that your physical vessel is simply not set up to process at this time. It is similar to when you sit in meditation and you notice thoughts appearing in your awareness and you can learn to notice the thoughts and to understand that you are not in fact your thoughts. 
that you can notice your thoughts as noises appearing in your awareness and let them go, let them drift away. The same applies with your emotions. Instead of doing this endless struggle of emotional processing, we would love to encourage you to simply acknowledge that many of these emotions are not yours and that you can simply observe them and let them go. There, it will, might require a shift in how you identify with your emotions because some of these emotions you are convinced are your own because you have felt them for so long, because you have de um, developed practices that help you cope with them and you have done deep layers of shadow work processing these emotions and we commend you and thank you with deep gratitude and we watch you with compassion for the work that you have done. But when the work becomes overwhelming, when it begins to cripple your functioning in your human life, that is when we implore you to cease identifying with these emotions and to cease the struggle of processing these emotions and to simply acknowledge them as not yours and to let them go, to let them go. Other forces in this universe can receive and process and recycle, transform or release these frequencies as necessary. You are extremely important empathic cleaning crews. You are an empathic cleaning crew on the earth at this time and you do incredible, enormous, profound layers of work healing the collective with your emotional processing. And as you raise your frequency you will continue to naturally and organically take on more and more of an energetic load, which includes more emotional processing. However, with your advancement in skill and with your advancement in energetic load also comes a responsibility that you have to yourself to notice when you are taking on too much emotional processing for your own good. Please do not burn yourselves out in a well-intentioned attempt to get the job done faster. Or, to, or in a well-intentioned attempt to spare others from their own emotional processing. That very well may be part of their own personal journey. When the emotions and energies that you have taken on to process become too much for too long, We invite you with great enthusiasm, with great enthusiasm to lay down your burdens, to acknowledge an emotion as not yours and to let it go and to allow some other force in the universe to handle it. You are not expected to do it all. You are not expected to do it all alone. You are only here as a volunteer doing whatever it is 
that you can do in each and every moment as you choose to. We would love to remind you to give yourselves the compassion and respect that you deserve as you decide how much you can take on. Don't forget to take an energetic holiday now and again. And always remember that when it is too much, you can simply put up your hand and tell the universe that you have done enough for now and that you would like the energies to stop so that you can rest and recover and recuperate. And then from your replenished state, then and only then do you decide what you would like to do next. We are pouring our silver blue ray frequencies down upon you in support. These energies require no processing. They are simply there as a gentle shower to surround you with love and encouragement and warmth and the memories of home. <laughs>